Welcome to Regulation Nation, where Washington red tape is holding back our economy. You don't have to look far to see that hardworking American taxpayers are struggling to get by. And America's job creators know firsthand how the Obama administration's excessive and overly burdensome regulations are making our economy worse. Last fall, I hosted a jobs conference with more than 60 community and business leaders from my district so I could hear their perspectives on job creation. The feedback I received from these job creators was overwhelming. They said that uncertainty created by President Obama's excessive and overly burdensome regulations is hampering their ability to create jobs. That's not surprising. Through the first three years of its term, the Obama administration has imposed a staggering 120 new major regulations, costing hardworking Americans more than $46 billion annually. That's more than four times the number and five times the cost of major regulations imposed by the Bush administration. For example, the EPA's proposed Boiler Mac rules would require boiler owners, such as hospitals, factories, universities, farms, and thousands of major American employers to comply with complex control standards. It's estimated that these rules as written could cost Arkansas's economy over $338 million and put more than 5,400 Arkansans out of work. Arkansas is an energy-rich state, and the Brown Dents and Fayetteville Shale formations have the potential to create even more good-paying jobs. But tapping into this potential is possible only because of new technologies like directional drilling and hydraulic fracturing. And guess what? The Obama administration has nearly a dozen federal agencies, from the State Department to the SEC, that's looking to regulate this energy innovation. President Obama's excessive regulations are hurting our economy in Arkansas and across the United States. Congress should enact policies that strengthen the ability of job creators to invest, hire, and grow. That's why I've introduced the Regulatory Freeze for Jobs Act. Congressman Griffin's legislation would freeze the president's ability to propose certain new significant regulations until the unemployment rate drops to 6% or below. My Regulatory Freeze Act doesn't outlaw regulations. It targets excessive and overly burdensome regulations. Reasonable government regulations are important to ensure the health and safety of our communities and to protect water and air for my two-year-old and four-year-old. My bill provides exemptions so that truly important regulations, a regulation that might address an imminent threat to public safety, for example, can still take effect. The Regulatory Freeze Act would inject certainty in the economy and give job creators a break when they need it most. Help Tim freeze excessive and overly burdensome regulations that are hurting our economy. Follow him on Facebook to stay informed about this important legislation.